and we're all gonna die. Everything's terrible. Let's play video games on the internet. It does fit. Yeah. Well, that that's I think why I'm I am feel so connected to Danganronpa is because it's just about bleak and death, and it's like I I, I get that man. That that speaks to my soul. I oh, think you like the He-Man tank top that I accidentally stole from Mike. So, well, I, I did I tell you the story about that? Yeah, well, th this is when I visited Mike like a, a couple years ago. But like I showed up to his apartment and he like handed me this tank top and a beer. And he said, like, let's sit outside in tank tops and drink beer. And I'm like, OK. So that's what we did. But at no point did he say, like, hey, I just want you to wear this for this moment. I thought he just bought this for me. So, like, I packed it up with me and took it with me. And then he's like, hey, do you still have my tank top? And I was like, oh, I thought I thought that was a gift. Like, you, you never said that you wanted it back. You just gave it to me and told me to put it on. So I assumed you bought it for me. But I guess I was wrong. Yeah. Well, because, like, literally, I've never in my life had, like, a, a, a dude friend come up to me and be like, here's my shirt. I want you to wear it, but just for, like, this next hour while we're outside or whatever. Like, never never been in that situation before, so I just assumed it was mine to keep, but. Put this on. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just want all my friends to dress me. Like, oh, it'll, it'll be like my dress up, darling. You can dress me up however you want. I can be your little kinky slave. Do it. Do it, you coward. Oh, that's right. We were like, the trial ended and now we're like going into something else, I think. Pete, well, yeah, that does tend to happen. But the, the fucking, the mono cubs came back. So like, I would have been down to only one voice, but luckily like fucking three of mine came back. I, I know, I know. But now he's training alone in hell. Me <laughs> or Shuichi's just alone in this courtyard, like, I love you and I miss you. <laughs> hey Panic, how's it going? game intensely quiet well i mean like it's it's right now it's only the music but i turned the music down so that the voices could be like louder i could turn the music back up yeah yeah i don't I, you know it's funny i don't think i've ever mentioned it but I'm, I'm just gonna mention this now i think the audio mixing in this game might not be very good um, I'm just kind of realizing that now, but we're, we're going to do the best we can. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Also, uh... Discord audio? What do you mean? Is Brian quiet? What's quiet? What's happening? Did Brian fuck it up again? Oh, you can only hear me. Oh, you know what? I think it's an OBS thing. It did update. That's probably exactly what happened. Hold on. We can fix it. We can fix it. Sorry. Like, updated twice, I want to stay this week on me.
Yeah, it's fucking up. Okay, you, you should be able to hear the game and Brian right. now. I apologize about that. If people watching the YouTube VOD, I'm sorry. The OBS updated. <laughs> fucked up with my uh, my settings, as it always wants to do. It's okay. I was a little burpy because I'm, I have to drink seltzer water right now. We're all out of normal water. Oh, no. It's okay. I like seltzer water, but I'm just going like to be a little burpy. I like seltzer water, too. It's the same. I'm just going to be a little gassy. <clears throat> Wanna take it from this line again? Yeah. Maki, I'm sorry. What? For what? Uh, um... I was the one who drove Kaido into a corner. Just like K Dog, I, I ended up betraying everyone and pouring to me. It's all my fault. I am the problem. Are you feeling lonely? Huh? Huh? Hey. Are you lonely? Now that Kaido is gone? <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm lonely. What's up, Captain? Just as I loaded up the stream, my internet went down. <laughs> oh, fucking Comcast! <laughs> nice! <laughs> I... I feel so lonely. And so sad, I... I don't know what to do. Do sit-ups for Kaito. <laughs> Kaito would love it. The only reason I'm still alive right now is because of Kaito. And if he hadn't been my friend, I would have been. That's right. Me too. I can't remember the last time I ever cried that hard. I wonder how long it's been. Okay. But I won't cry anymore. I'm sad, but I'm grateful to Kaido. Huh? Grateful? Okay. Yeah. I want to tell him that rather than being sad or lonely, I'm grateful to him. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy you're dead, Kaito. Your death has brought me joy. <laughs> so I won't cry anymore. I'm not gonna wallow in pity. Hey, I see those tears welling up. You said you weren't gonna <laughs> cry. I want to show him how much I appreciate all the things he did. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's the same for me. I want to show my appreciation too. I'm sure that our friends who've passed on don't want to see us miserable. Thanks. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, so you guys were here after all. Uh, by the way, since you showed up, Brian and I were talking last night after stream about <laughs> Danganronpa V3. And I, I, I made a guess with Brian though I was like I I think what they're gonna do is they're gonna do a heel turn with Samugi because it's shocking to me that we're this late in the game and this character hasn't done anything at all anything <laughs> and now, that, now that we have confirmation that Kokichi isn't the mastermind I I think they're gonna make it Samugi Samugi I, I, I just have a feeling in the pit of my stomach because they have to do something with this character <laughs> and at this point it's been so much nothing that like it's the only thing they can do now is make her the I'm villain I, 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 I feel like that could be a twist they're gonna do, but I'm gonna be the evil one here, and I want, and I hope that they don't do anything with her. So it just it just makes it worse. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like honestly th that would be because at this point I'd roll my eyes if they did make her the mastermind. But it, yeah. it would be even worse if they're just like, no, we just did nothing with this character the entire <laughs> fucking game. She stayed alive. She was a survivor. She but did. She's plain boring. <laughs> Plain boring. So plain. But that's what I mean. Like, all her dialogue is like, I'm so plain. I wouldn't do anything. Hey. It's like, okay, well, clearly you're up to some shit. <laughs> you're up to some something. <clears throat> Sorry, got me another sip. <laughs> Just like I thought. And an another guess that I have to go along with this, and this one I'm less <clears throat> confident about, but like, because she's the uh, ultimate cosplayer. I, 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 this persona she's putting on might actually be a cosplay of like some obscure character or whatever and her real self may be completely different 
Oh shit. So that, that that's another guess I'm gonna throw out there. See if it pans out. Oh hey! I knew you guys would be here because I cast a spell to find you! Samogi, Himiko. Um, um, if you don't mind, can we join you in your training? No! <laughs> this is something that me and Kaito did! And Maki too! <laughs> it's special! <laughs> huh? I'll train you all from the ground up so we can end this killing game together! Huh? We're gonna end this together? <laughs> oh fuck, hold on. Sorry, it's a higher voice. Sorry, hold on. <clears throat> hey, Mik oh fuck. <sighs> fuck, I can't I'm struggling with the voice now. <clears throat> hey, Miko and I promise Kaido. I'm sorry. Samugi's gone. I don't know why. It's fine. Hey, Miko and I promise Kaido. Okay. Yeah, it's kinda coming back. Yeah, we're we're gonna do what we promised to work together to end this killing game. We can't afford to lose to despair. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Monokuma said that there's no hope anywhere. But he's wrong. There is hope. It was just on the top shelf, so we couldn't see it. But it's right <laughs> here. The box hasn't even been opened yet. <laughs> and the expiration date is months away. <laughs> it's a fresh box of hope. <laughs> Oh, I want that cereal. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my friends are my hope. Sora? My friend. My, my friends are my power. <laughs> Cam says, yeah, I feel like she was always sus. Sus Moogie. Ooh. Oh, titties. She, she got some fat titties, though, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> she does. does. Like, oh. I'll, I'll, be, I'll put my face right underneath. Kaino said it best. I'm not alone. That's right. I have friends. Go on, Evie, go. Put your back into it. Not just my friends here, but also friends who have died. Himiko's doing those push-ups where all she's doing is, like, humping the ground. <laughs> and they're just, like, kind of politely ignoring it. Yeah. <laughs> they all gave us their hope, too. That's why I'm going to live. I want to live for everyone who died. And die for everyone who lives. <laughs> the spear cannot defeat me. I won't hold on. Wait, I won't hold on. I will hold on and survive no matter what. <laughs> I won't hold on. I give up. <laughs> she's trying. She's trying and you're laughing. Well, she should try harder, goddammit. That form is terrible. <laughs> Thank you, Kaido. Let your sweat wash away all your sadness, fear, worries, and hardships. Just start moving your body and your pain will become memories before you know it. I'm saying all this while not moving at all and just staring at the stars. Right? Well, we don't have anything to worry about. Because, I mean, I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. I'm going to start using that as an excuse. <laughs> Brian, you should really, like, you know, I don't know, whatever. You came up on that fast. <laughs> you did. It was it was going somewhere and I derailed and I said, you know what? Just leave the mess here. Let's walk away from this one. Ryan, you should really... I don't know. Whatever. Fuck it. <laughs> Nothing matters. <laughs> just, just have like that breakdown in the middle of the stream. You're like just mid-joke. You're like, yeah, fuck it. What's the point? Why do you people watch this? I'm a sham. I'm a sham and I fooled all of you. <laughs> Pull off your mask. I'm not even Brian. I'm three weasels in a man suit. And very well trained. Very well trained. <laughs> Has her cosplay even come up yet for the plot? I'm like, no, not really. No, no, no. That's what I mean. She's like probably currently in cosplay. That's probably going to be the twist. In cosplaying this whole time. Oh, by the way, I've been in cosplay the whole time. <laughs> <clears throat> what happened to Kibo? 
Do you know where he went? Oh, he went crazy. Huh? Ebo? Uh, I don't know. Uh, what is that guy off doing? <laughs> I don't think a robot really need to do any training. But the rest of us are here. I kind of wish you'd come too. Robots don't come. Or like, do they? Oh. Too quiet. <laughs> too quiet. Too quiet. Ah, I knew it. And yet, this silence is quite refreshing. We doing, Kibo. I know that's your voice. I used to hear my inner voice with perfect clarity. It would fill me with the power of hope. Guide me along the right path. I can't hear it anymore. So now I've gone rogue. Oh. Here now. The fucking installed missile launchers on his shoulders now. Is that what we're seeing? Yeah. He's got I, missile I was, launchers. I was just about to say, like those clearly like missile launchers to me. I don't know where he got those. <laughs> you know, me, you made them. I guess. Before she how, died. <laughs> how'd he even know how to install them though? Like. Kibo doesn't know shit. She had to install everything for him. Uh, true. Maybe she made it easy where she's like, even a dumbass can do it. You know? Maybe. Okay, buddy. Are you just gonna blow everyone up with your missile shoulders? <laughs> this is where the writers of Danganronpa V3 realized that by killing off their wild card Kokichi, they needed another one. So like, uh, make the robot do it. Right. He's, he's the new wild card. What the f in the Samus? Oh my god. Super Kibo. Oh, we're a fucking Gundam now? And I Kibo. Destroy it. <laughs> Kibo, what the Bro! Stop! Bro, Dude. I knew some shit was gonna happen with him! Dude. I've been calling it for trials! <laughs> Oh my god! Purpose or passion without voyage? What the fuck? Well, Kibo's gonna kill everyone, so I guess that's how the game ends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I got the jacket! Now we can wear his cool jacket. Galactic jacket. You think people will be upset if we start wearing his coat? No, we, we should definitely do it. <laughs> we'll, we'll tie it around our waist, so it'll be different. It'll be different, but it's still there to symbolize uh, that he's still here. <laughs> um, robots don't come, side eyes, muse, cleaning scene. <laughs> That's I true. Someone... Uh, they, they probably come like some type of robotic oil, I'm sure. Right. Uh, I don't know who this is. Might be someone new. Oh, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto. <laughs> Oh, Makoto my God. Nayagi. Oh, my God. Are you here? I don't have any talents or anything. I'm just a regular teenager. How did you find your way here? Whoa. Why do I have a bowl cut? Why do I sound so depressed? <laughs> What's up with the bowl haircut, Makoto? <laughs> He sounds oh, pretty weird. Like boring. Yeah, you're right. Have you guys decided your next Thursday night game? Well, I know what the next big one will be, but we'll probably do some stuff, just some small stuff before that. I'm fed up. I want to oh, run no. away from my daily life. I want to run away and just forget all this. Yeah. I want to run away and run away. And run away and run away and run away. And then when I'm done running away, I want to run away some more. And then I want to run away <laughs> from the running away. But I'm okay. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Oh. Well, that cleared up pretty fast. I have a reason to live. I've got something to look forward to. Is it porn? That's why I'm going to be okay. Is it the next Marvel movie? <laughs> Thanks for the courage. Is it porn of the next Marvel movie? Thanks for giving me something <laughs> Is it that gif uh, that, that was edited that uh, makes it look like Hulk is smashing Black Widow in the butt? You know the one. Thanks for the strength to keep going. I, I don't actually. You know the one. I'll keep on rooting for you, so 
You haven't seen that one? It's the one when we're like Hulk turns, it looks at Black Widow and then smiles and then someone like edits a clip of like some dude railing some chick in the butt, but like the, the dude's been edited to look green. <laughs> yeah. Captain, Captain knows the one, he's seen it. <laughs> <laughs> Fanny, I mean, please DM me this gift. Yeah, let me uh let me look it up, it's, make it's, sure my it, volume is down. It, it's probably easy to find. Hulk rails <laughs> Black Widow. I'm gonna find some weird shit. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just ride nonchalantly browsing porn over there while Kibo's blowing up the school. He's. <laughs> oh. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Oh. The school only blew up! What? What happened? Over there. I turned my head to where Maki was pointing. Gundam Cable! Kibo. What Whoa. the fuck are you doing, my guy? Kibo, you know that there are still survivors in this school, right? Right? I mean, maybe not anymore. You might have taken care of that. It just fucking kills Suichi and everyone. Kibo. Kibo, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck, Kibo? Kibo, what are you doing? You're flying! Is it magic? <laughs> I don't know what he's planning, but it looks like he's attacking the school indirectly. Wait, in in indiscriminately. In in indiscriminately. Indiscriminately. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. We need to hurry and stop him. We'll get caught up in the mess if we don't. But how do we stop him? All right. We have to talk to him. We can't. We 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 can get him to calm down. To calm down. <laughs> we we need to play the Nintendo Wii with him. <laughs> it's dangerous, but let's get to the courtyard and try to get his attention. Yeah, you're right. I, I don't think there's any courtyard anymore, y'all. <laughs> Confused by the situation unfolding in front of us, we ran to the center of the courtyard. Hey, Bo! Stop it! Cease fire, Kibo! <laughs> Jesus. Fucking... What is this gonna do? Uh, it's like a battlefield. Damn it. We we need to get his attention. G get him down. Get him to come down. Kibo, come down, please, please. <laughs> Are you trying to get us killed? K please, Kibo, come down and talk to us. Again, I love how like Shuichi's deliveries are always just like Kibo, you silly goose, get down here. <laughs> what do you think you do and blow up a school like that? You silly little ghost. So goofy. And I shouted out to Kiba, who, f who finally came to a halt in midair. And then slowly flew down to us. Wow, I can't believe I missed all of you. I was aiming for you, to be honest. Here he comes. Uh, okay. Y yeah. What's up, guys? <laughs> Oh, you guys are still here. <laughs> Please keep it brief. I have other matters I must attend to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, clearly. <laughs> Seem quite busy. Huh? Other matters? Yes. I'm going to end the killing game. Huh? End the killing game. <laughs> Turns out all you have to do is kill the killing game. <laughs> <laughs> to do that, I must destroy the ultimate academy for gifted juveniles. Destroy it! That's right. The killing game cannot go on. If I destroy this school in its entirety. Could it be? So that's why you have that weapon. Hey. What's with the weapons and the jetpack? Yeah. Pretty cool, right? I bought it off the internet. I've obtained this equipment from my lab. Huh? You have equipment like that in your lab? Yes. 
I made a few. I made some modif. I made some modifications to drastically improve the power and output, and functionality. 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 Function. Since when have you been able to do that? You didn't level up or anything, right? Did something happen? Didn't you say that you didn't want to use anything from the lab? Right. That's right. You don't like looking sci-fi. That's right. Yes, I wanted to be treated like a real human, a creature of flesh and bone like you all. I have decided. But I, I no longer have the luxury of clinging to that wish anymore. I... My course is clear. I must destroy this academy and end this killing game. Hold on! If you do that like that, woo! If you do something like that, we'll all die too, you know? Yeah, that's fine. There's no oxygen in the outside world. There are no living things. We're. Woo, we're only able to survive because of inside the spaceship, you know? That's right! Are you trying to kill us too? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, hey, you know, he's, he's honest. I, I asked and answered, I guess. <laughs> if my actions result in your death, so be it. Huh? So be it? That's... Monokuma... Bleh, bleh, Monokuma told us that despair is our only choice. That hope doesn't exist here. Unfortunately. And unfortunately, he's right. As long as this killing game continues, only despair awaits us. No. Wait, we still have hope. I found it on the top shelf. Remember. <laughs> Our hope is everyone here. Our friends who are still alive. You're right. Y yeah, if we all work together, even this killing game will. 100%. It will not stop. It will never stop. And even if we do manage to stop this killing game and escape, where would we go? Earth is destroyed, humanity is extinct. We have no home to return to. What? That... that... might be true, but... Which means... Monokuma's right. Despair is all we have here. We simply do not have the power to change the outside world on our own. That's not true. Himiko can use her magic. I'm sure she can do it. It'll be fine. <laughs> we all... We, 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 we. All we can do now is refuse to submit to despair. Hey. And you would... And you would be willing to let us... To... to, to... Take a breath. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and you would be willing to let all of us die to accomplish that. That is far be, uh, b -b -b -b. that is a far better alternative than allowing Monokuma to conti continue the killing game. Want to hydrate panic? All right, you got it. Yeah, let me let me get a little bit of that too. <laughs> what was that? Are, are you serious? Listen closely. Kaido and Kokichi gave gave their lives to end this killing game. We should follow their example. We should be willing to give our lives to end this killing game. We should follow their example. Let's go into that hydraulic press together. <laughs> we'll hold each other. What do you mean? Is that what your inner voice is telling you to do? No. No. I can no longer hear that voice. Huh? You can't hear it anymore? That's right. For some reason, my inner voice has gone silent. This decision is my will, my choice. I have decided. I have chosen to modify myself and destroy this academy. You know what, Kibo? I support you. Good on you. Everyone. <laughs> we can, we, 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 we can never submit to despair, because we are students of Hope's Peak Academy. Someday I want somebody to edit all the times you say we and just have like your characters on a roller coaster. Just we, 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 we. Just having a good time, you know. 
I'm so like that. <laughs> no, that's wrong. Why? Wrong? That's because there might still be hope. There might still be a place to call home. Well then. And what are we basing? Okay, yeah. And what are we basing that that claim on? That's wrong. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. Baseless claim, motherfucker. <laughs> what you gonna do about it? I just have a feeling. Ew. Just have a feeling. You sound like that idiot right now. I know. I'm, I'm falling so... for you. I'm so moist. I have a thing for really <laughs> fucking stupid men. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Maki. Hi. <laughs> hi. Hi. Uh, my name hi. is Brian Miller. How's it going? <laughs> like, <you know. laughs> I don't read so good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't said so. It's just like Okichi said. If this game rules matter so much, someone's watching. Okay. <clears throat> there can't be a there can't be no killing game without an audience. So if we kill the audience, I mean, Hope Speak Academy was the same way. It was a killing game made for an audience. That That's going to be the twist of this game, is like, we the player and like the viewers, we're all the oh. audience, and, and then we're going to get killed so that the killing game can stop. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Jason so Claim is my new band. Panic, you, you better give me royalties for all these bands you're starting. <laughs> I don't know, I just pictured now instead of that, uh, hey, it's me, Goku, it's... Hey, it's me, Suichi. Hey, <laughs> hey, it's me. <laughs> this game must be the same way. Someone is watching this somewhere. There's someone left. I gotta sneeze, it's coming. There's still a possibility. True. We cannot say there's an absolutely no possibility. But even a mere possibility? No, that's wrong. That possibility is our hope. Huh? What? Because. We we haven't investigated everything. There are still a lot of mysteries in this school. If there are still questions to be answered, then we haven't found the truth. Yeah, we haven't gotten the new items yet to open up more areas, dude. So just Why? fucking relax. Um. And that means we can't give up. And we can't give up before we reach that truth. Spoken like a true ultimate detective. I understand. Very well. I fucked up. I shall cooperate with your with your attempt yep, to stop this killing game your way. Kibo. Listen closely. But you have until dawn. I will not wait any longer until that. <laughs> you have until dawn. After that, I will blow the shit out of everything. <laughs> until dawn? Until dawn. Isn't that like a gamer game? movie or something? Yeah. Yeah, it's a video game with the, uh, in the woods and you get killed by a monster. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Good game. Um. Though... Dawn is simply an illusion. Oh, wrong voice. <clears throat> Though Dawn is simply an illusion projected onto the dawn. If you cannot stop the killing game by dawn, 100%. I will destroy the ultimate academy and end the killing game myself. <laughs> You're gonna end what now? Whoa, he looks weird. <laughs> yeah, wait, whoa, weird, weird design. Yo! It's forever eternal? Well, you only got like five players left, so. <laughs> I mean, your forever is kind of short. <laughs> oh, he's back! Attempting to destroy this precious academy is more than a violation of the school regulations! 
It's an act of m mutiny. There we go. So what? You are solely mistaken if you think I will allow this to continue. Huh? Is that robot malfunctioning? He must be... Why else would he be trying to defy me? Then let's kill him until he dies from it. Hell yeah! Ripping a robot's parts isn't gory at all. So, I can just go all out this time. And that's that. Uh, Pops, can we kill him? Please? Pretty please with sugar on top? Plus? <laughs> They're so... Bra 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 I see bra. Bra's in there. Brazen. 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 Fuck. <laughs> They're so brazen because they don't have any hair downstairs. Why are you talking about their pubes? <laughs> What's the matter with you? Well, any last words? Yeah, wh why Why are you talking about pubes? <laughs> They're all into battle mode! Battle mode? Battle mode! <laughs> oh no! This place is dangerous. You all need to get out of here. Hey, Kibo, blow them up with your missiles, dude. What? <laughs> Kibo, are you okay? Oh, that's not the voice, sorry. Kibo, are you okay? <laughs> Suichi, please find this truth that you mentioned earlier while I stall them. It's all in your hands now. Now go. Fly, you fools. Fly, you fools. All right. Never forgive rule breakers. Anyone who messes with the killing game must die! Exosos Basilba! No, it's Avengers or something. Whatever. This killing game is over. It's so <laughs> fucking over. Do it, Samus Kibo. Slash Gundam. I will destroy the ultimate academy and bring down this monument to despair. Yeah, yeah, you will. Sick. That's how it began, in the war between Kibo and the Exiles. Oh shit! Is this when all the exiles were running around because of Kibo? Kibo fucked everything up for us. <laughs> oh my oh. god! Yeah, maybe. So there, there's gonna be a fucking. I, I like how they say like that's how it began. Like th there's a whole war between Kibo and the Exosols. It's not yeah. just this one battle. <laughs> Bro, Kibo was put up a fight. The Ultimate Academy became a battleground. Uh, battlefield, please. Oh. Battlefield. Goodbye, dang a ramp. Deadly life. <laughs> Deadly life. <laughs> we ran to the entrance hall, trying to escape the battle that was unfolding. Seems like things have suddenly become really bad. Yeah, because they were so great up until this point, huh? <laughs> so the robot uprising finally happened. That's what I always feared, but Why you... I, I never expected it to be like this. Why? Hey, Miko, that's robophobic. <laughs> <laughs> but why did Monokuma leave a weapon like that in the research lab? Because it's funny. Because it's funny. He's pretty careless, isn't he? He did it for the lols. Ugh, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Right? Hey, what should we do? Remember. Just as I said before, we need to find the truth in order to escape this killing game. What's that mean? Okay, but what do we need to look for? Obviously, we need to find the real identity of the mastermind behind the killing game. What? It's Samugi. There you go. Found her. <laughs> The mastermind? Isn't there is there really a mastermind in this academy? Could it be? Could it be me? No way. Hehe. <laughs> because <laughs> if the outside world's destroyed, then the mastermind must be in the school, right? Kokichi wasn't the mastermind. Then in that case. I don't know. But I thought the only ones saved by the Gopher Project were us sixteen students. Nope. <laughs> nope, wrong. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> 
Don't you think it's possible for someone to have may have infiltrated the Gopher Project? Like Kokichi yeah. said? Oh. No me, my bad. <laughs> that someone that someone could be the mastermind hiding somewhere in this school. Someone? You mean a remnant of the spare, right? Then someone else inside this academy besides Kokichi is a remnant of the spare. That's true. If we can't find them and kill them, then this killing game should end. Ah, uh, um... uh, I don't know about the killing them. We can like hold them down and tickle them a bunch. I'm fine with that. <laughs> but... but there, but 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 there's still a possibility that the mastermind is hiding somewhere in this academy. This complex is huge. There must be a place where we haven't explored yet. Seems like it's worth a shot. But... Did we investigate that actual door behind the bookshelf? Have we done that yet? No, I don't think we've ever been able to go in there. Okay, well, I think that might be a start. <laughs> That's go probably there, a good place to, you know, figure out something. Right, Maybe go, we go can here. put more dust on a card dust. reader. Yeah! You fucking idiot. I was just about to say, but use your dust again. <laughs> use your magic dust. <laughs> What if that? What if like is somehow like Suichi's about to get stabbed or something? But he just he throws dust in the enemy's eyes and just <laughs> survives. That, yeah, that, that's that's gonna be how he wins the killing game. He's gonna find dust. the mastermind and throw his dust in them. <laughs> and that's not the only thing we found. We we need we have to find. We have to there find me a girlfriend. Uh, to truly end this killing game, we must find the mastermind of the spare. Thanks, I was gonna send in a DNA test to see if I have genetic disposition for Ligma! Oh! Ligma bowels! That's... <laughs> and also find hope. Huh? Yeah, she got it. She did good. Remember. <laughs> Remember. Our home, where we, where, 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 where we're going to live after this killing game ends. I know there's hope out there. We have to find it before we leave. Jeez, oh, this isn't some fictional story, so I don't think things will work out that well. Hey, hey, <laughs> but if we look for it, we just might find it. If we don't try, we'll never find anything. Damn, bro, those are straight facts you're spitting. Okay. Yeah, sweet shit. So we have to try. That's true. Since Kibo is distracting the Exosols, we won't have to worry about violating school rules. Okay. There must be another room where we haven't investigated yet. Oh my god, we can violate school rules? Brian, you know what that means. Oh my god, I'm going to poop in the hallway. I was gonna say run in the hallway, but if you want to poop in the hallway, I oh. guess you can do that too. That's a little fucked up, but I mean, that's, that's but, how you want to live your life. I mean, no, we can, yeah, let's run. No, let's no, run. yeah, no, you, yeah. you've already proven to us that you're a fucking weird scat freak who wants to poo everywhere, so. <laughs> I guess that's I'm out the of the world now. Man! <laughs> <laughs> you're right. There's no point in complaining. Let's all just do what we can. Okay. Well, well, if we all work together, everything will be all right, right? Okay. Yeah, it shouldn't be difficult. No matter how impossible it seems, we'll accomplish it. Maki, okay. you spicy girl. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> spicy, spicy meatball. <laughs> oh, my one, I just have to you up like a spaghetti. <laughs> Like a spaghetti. <laughs> we need to find hope and despair hidden in this academy. Uh, when, 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 when all is revealed, this killing game will end. Oh, that was to say free time. <laughs> free time. Go hang out with somebody. <laughs> then let's split up and start searching. Yeah, we're we're gonna split up, but we were just in such a united mood. Well, we don't have enough time left to get uh, to all go together, unfortunately. You're right. 
Right. We'll search uh, uh, each other soon. We'll, we'll yep. search each other soon? We'll see each other soon? Uh, I'm so sorry. My dyslexia full combined body cavity search, each. you know what I mean? <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Can't see, help but bro, notice bro. I'm the only guy here surrounded by three beautiful women. <laughs> see, right there, the scene each, my brain thought that said search, so it combined that. Mm. <laughs> Fucking dyslexia. Oh, All right. I should go to. We need to end this killing game before dawn. <laughs> what are you doing? Cool guy shit, man. There's some real cool guy shit happening. What in the DBZ? Breaking walls and shit and floors? What? Oh. Or maybe he's saying a hole. A hole? Such an a hole. I don't like to swear, so I'm not gonna <laughs> say it. Oh, dude, dude, you see that little hidden Monokuma back there on like the flying saucer? <gasps> right. I see his little ass. Get him. Yeah. Get him. He, he thought he could fucking <laughs> get away from me. Now well, it is time, time to test your bonds with your friends. Okay. The time to dawn and your bond. The the time. Hold on, hold on. The time to dawn and your bond with your friends will be displayed. If your bond increases, you can move large debris. Debris. So work hard to end this killing game before dawn breaks. So are, are we timed now? What is happening? Yep. Oh, I don't like yes, this. Yes, we are. Uh, it's like this. lightning's return. What is happening? Yep. 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 Okay. Yep. Thank yep. you. There you go. Oh, you found me. Well, yeah, I guess there's probably just probably throwing yeah. a little nasty save. Yeah. yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. While you're doing that, I'm gonna strip right quick. I gotta get out of this. Head. Gross. <laughs> Jeez, Brian. Already, we're we're not even an hour into the stream. You already looked up porn, and now you're stripping. Like you're in some kind of mood today, my guy. One. One All right, I have return it. Oh, I got, see one. I need, I need more than zero if I want one. There's a staircase here. Why is there a staircase here? So this staircase is supposed to be unlocked by the mysterious item. Well, it was unlocked by robot battle, so I guess that was the item. There must be a clue here. I have to investigate. Yeah, let's do it. What? Are, are we gonna be on like the other side of the secret door in the basement? Is that what this is? Uh, maybe. Yeah, Mike, you slap those rocks out of here. Just get them out of here, Mike. You slap them away. I'll do it. Slap the rocks and get out of here. I don't like you, <laughs> Rock. I'm more of a Stone Cold Steve Austin fan. <laughs> Shoot, 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 oh, shoot, shoot. Oh. Thank you. There you go. There you go. It sometimes likes to not work, which I think is pretty cool. <laughs> sometimes it likes to not work. Like that that's what you want when you play a video game, is just for it to sometimes not work. It's broken. But from the store. This must be the an ultimate lab. Is this a Nazi? It isn't open, but there's only one ultimate left. It's Kokichi's, the ultimate supreme leader's lab. This door isn't supposed to be open. Brave out rules if a student dies before their ultimate lab is open. Then the lab will remain closed. But Kibo's explosions broke the door. I should be able to get in. I have to go inside. I must go inside. I must. See, that's what we gotta do. Is use keyboard. Oh, blow it's like a bad doors. cave. It's like Ooh. literally the bad cave. It literally is. That's actually a Batmobile. Yeah, it's literally Adam West. <laughs> they just colored it. Yeah. So this is Kokichi's lab. Oh, fuckers, Batman. It certainly does have that evil organization feel. You hear that? Definitely. Batman, Danganronpa thinks you're evil. 
I mean, what he does to those uh, poor kids makes him fight crime. <laughs> but there's nothing that w that would identify the remnant of despair. Let me show him the students of Hope Speak Academy will never submit to despair. Hope, despair. At that time, Kaido was in that exile. Exile. But it doesn't seem like he knew anything about the remnants of despair. Uh. And Kokichi and Kaido were there when we used the flashback light. But even without that memory, the truth is the same. If this lab was made for Kokichi, then there should be some link to the remnants. Perhaps it's hidden somewhere. I should investigate thoroughly. Thorough's what you want, thorough's what I'm gonna give you. Let's start with the chair. Oh, oh, it floats! Oh my god, that's like the Mobius chair. From literally DC as well. <laughs> this is Kokichi's chair. Definitely something a Supreme Leader would sit in. I think that looks just like it. But something felt off. It's all too... cliché. It feels as if this entire room is just an elaborate prank. Even in death, Kokichi mocks us. <laughs> this must be the emblem of the organization that Kokichi led. Leads. The remnants of despair will uh, put up the emblem? What? Did I read that right? No, no? but, well, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> Do you really read anything right? Well... We try. <laughs> A large table, one I imagine is used uh, if the four strategic meetings. Well, that you definitely read that one right. Got it. Got it. One. There's nothing of any in particular interest on top of the table. Just a bunch of dirty cum rags. <laughs> Bad move. Oh, oh, RC helicopter. That's a helicopter. Is this Kokichi's? Yeah! A Batmobile! Is this the kind of thing that a member of an eagle, uh, eagle this evil organization, drives around? Member of an eagle! <laughs> eagle! But would an e evil organization really want to drive around in such a flashy car? Yes! Everybody wants to drive around in such a flashy car. Yeah. yeah! It has a phone in there, dude. And a microwave. Cat, cat wants a spicy chicken sandwich or a chicken burrito. Dude, live your best life. Get one of them shits in your mouth. Dude, Order I one. had a... I had a Wendy spicy chicken sandwich for lunch. It was great. And I had some spicy nugs mm. with it. Mmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This is more like a child's idea of what an evil organization would have. No, this is a child's idea of what Batman's cave looks like. <laughs> get it, get, read a comic. Oh, we can control the helicopter. Yeah. Oh, dude. That was fun. Can we fight the Exosols with it? <laughs> yeah, let's get in there, man. We'll we'll give Kibo <laughs> some help. Right. It looks like the controller is over there. That's it. <laughs> well, take it with you, and you can have a little helicopter familiar that flies around with you. All right. You'll be so cool, and all the girls will want to kiss you in the mouth. There are matching shoes and suits of many colors here. I like the fucking, like, wall of Groucho Marx glasses and mustaches. <laughs> right. That's great. Monocles and... <laughs> if this is an Ultimate Supreme Leader's lab... Are these uniforms for other members of the organization? These are some unsettling objects here. Gas masks, handcuffs. Kingy. There are also wigs and glasses for disguises, I imagine. But they seem comical. Wigs and glasses for disguises, you say? Almost like some sort of cosplay? Oh? Oh. Oh. 
This doesn't... This doesn't seem like something that the ultimate uh, remnant of despair would use. How do you know what the remnants of despair would use? Are you a remnant of despair? Yes. <laughs> book. Brian, read a book. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's a collection of files here bound like a book. It's the complete history of Hope Speak Academy. Wow. Kind of a... Convenient. Yeah, that, that fits all into one book, really. A complete history. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I picked the book and began rapidly flipping through the pages. And inside. I know these people. Information on the first uh, Danganronpa game. <laughs> uh, and the other remnants of the spare. <laughs> Sorry, the Hope Speak Academy and Future Foundation and the Remnants of Despair. This is a history of the battle between hope and despair. I wish I could read it, but the text is so blurry. <laughs> At least the pictures are nice and clear. <laughs> I'm more of a picture book guy anyways. <laughs> but we've already remembered all this. We remembered this information. We know this information. And I don't suppose it makes for a particular useful clue. I don't suppose. No. Something's not right. Something's off. Because this thing's written in this book? Do you have time to read a book? Yeah. Maybe you should read one, Maki. Oof. Uh, Maki. Maki. I flinched as surprise as Maki peeked at the thick book in my hands. I, d I just, I just thought of a uh, <clears throat> fuck. What is it? Is it in UHF Ow. where the, the those uh, Asian dudes are in the supplies closet and they open it up and they're like surprise. <laughs> by by the way, I watched because I mentioned UHF. I watched uh, the uh, Weird Al movie did you starring, uh, daniel radcliffe it's, it's pretty funny i recommend watching it mm -hmm. oh, you know i heard some people say it was pretty good yeah it's a good time a complete history of host peak academy what's the point of reading this now you already remember the host peak academy with the flashback light didn't you no <laughs> no i didn't actually yes i thought as well hey ah uh, maki this is perfect timing. Will you come with me? Will you come with me? <laughs> For what? Is that all right? <laughs> is that all right? <laughs> and I need you to tell me everything you remember about the history of Hope Speak Academy right now. Huh? But why? But why? That's. And I need to check something important. I really don't understand, but I just need to talk about it right now. Wait. She gave... <clears throat> she gave me a big, almost theor... The I know this word. Theorical. The the theoretical. Theoretical sigh. Theatrical. There we go. You, I, I you, you, almost, you almost said theoretical, which made me think of... It's spherical! It's spherical! 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 spherical. <laughs> then started speaking in born narration. It all began at Hope's Peak Oh, thank God you're reading this. Does. The biggest, oh. most awful, most tragic event. The biggest, the most awful, most worstest ever. The <laughs> worstest. <laughs> was so not good. No shit. Look at how much of despair these buildings got. They look real sad. <laughs> they look real sad, like. The ultimate despair. Junko Who would have thunk it? Some hot white girl with blonde hair ruined all of humanity. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Karen. All Sorry. of humanity taken down by an E girl. <laughs> we knew it would happen. Oh my god, I thought those were titties up there. Those are her knees. 
Those are knees. That, that's a, that's a, that is a I know, terrible I know. way to squat. <laughs> like, what, that looks so uncomfortable. Like, how is... Jesus Christ. <laughs> but in the end, Junko and Oshima died at the hands of the very killing game she masterminded. Womp really? Womp. With her death, Damn. The despair outbreaks ended, and the world slowly began to recover. But the remnants of despair continued to carry out Junko's legacy of despair. The future foundation was established to fight against them, and their war raged on. Until one day, when the war suddenly ended. Meteorites, right? <laughs> because of meteorites. <laughs> you can skip that's that part. That part's boring. <laughs> Is that all right? Do you remember anything about the new Ho Hope Speak Academy? <laughs> Cam, revert the Danganronpa's gone without referencing the first one counter back to zero. <laughs> yep. you, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta always refer back to where it started, man. Uh, uh, let's you know that we've really went somewhere with this story. I promise you, it makes sense. As for the Hope Speak Academy. It was later rebuilt by former members of the Future Foundation and resumed operations. They continued to scout students who possessed ultimate level talent. And that's all we know. This doesn't make any sense. Who wrote this? <laughs> no. That doesn't make sense, because that because uh, because because what Maki just told me is exactly what I remember. Then what is written in this book? Are these just lies? I don't know what is written in the book. You want to like let us know? You're right. Or are they? Oh. And I turn to one of the pages, almost without thinking. <laughs> ah, it's just the afterward written on the last page. It says there are some documents were collected by uh, several estimated researchers. Esteemed. Esteemed. Yeah. Like a mabrugli. <laughs> this is the most thorough, accurate book written on the subject. Well, it says the complete history. So what's the point? The problem is, if this is true. Okay, Master of Hope's Big has been added to the Truth Bullet section of your monopad. Well, we can't ignore these inconsistencies. I should investigate more. So is this really, is this chapter just going to be an investigation and then straight into another fucking trial or something? I don't know, maybe, I guess so. In order to investigate this, the need to know more about Kokichi. I find this in his lab, after all. Hey. Maki, I think I'm gonna go to Kokichi's room now. What? Oh, why Kokichi's room? I want to smell his pillow. <laughs> For reasons. <laughs> I have to verify something. I have to determine which things he said were the truth and which were lies. <laughs> oh, Panic just straight up says, yep. Okay, so I guess we're doing the investigation today, and then next time, Brian, I guess it'll be another trial. Block right away, huh? Yep. No rest for the wicked. Including if we really, uh, if he really was a remnant of despair. What are you trying to pull? Huh? There's no doubt that he was a remnant of despair, because in that memory. Well, whatever. If that's what you want to do, then I won't stop you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. I would never have imagined this. That Kokichi's lie might be the breakthrough we needed to find the truth. So Kokichi is the most important character. Oh, boy. Ah. That's probably fine. Ah, the demons. Well, what is this? What's happening? Oh, 
Oh, fuck. Someone hit us with it. Big old flashback light. Oh, he's, he was like sad Keanu sitting on the bench. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Hello. Are you one of the chosen Is that Makoto? Go for Makoto? I saw you on a flyer on the ground. That's the remnants of despair doing Goku Project participants are classified. Are you one of them? I'm really good at remembering faces. Yeah. Yeah? Just a case of mistaken identity. Just have one of those faces, I suppose. <laughs> from Hope's Peak Academy. I'm Brian. <laughs> I'm just a normal high school student. I don't have any special talent. I see. But you look just like him. Don't worry about that. Hey, listen, should we really be outside right now? The meteorite. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you noticed, but there's like meteorite smashing yeah. everything. Maybe you should go like I don't know, hide under your desk or something. That seems safe. Of them. Yeah, you well, maybe you, you probably should be like a little bit. Take care of those yeah, they won't. Well, uh, yeah, they won't we'll fail. They were the first ones hit by the meteorites, buddy. No, I've heard the Gopher Project doesn't exist to save us. <laughs> Panic says, "Hey, if you want." Rest, you could stream something else next Thursday for a breather. That could be a cool and good idea. Innocently whistles. Mm -hmm. I, I, am I am I to believe that that means that like the next time we stream it'll be super crazy long? Oh, oh shit. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Doing an eight-hour stream, Mike. <laughs> well, so hold on. Here's the thing. And I'm sorry, I'm doing this right now in the middle of this cutscene, but, uh... The thing is, the 24th is Thanksgiving, so we're definitely not going to be able to stream then. Yeah. So, if we don't stream Dangrampa next week, then we also won't stream it the week after, and then we'd be streaming it again on, like, the 1st of December, which we could do, but, you know, that, that many weeks apart, I don't know, I don't know how fresh things will be in our minds but we could do that because yeah i mean i don't mind I don't... whatever works yo the gopher project wasn't created to save us it was created to shave us to shave so that they could take our hair and make a bunch of big gophers with it <laughs> heroes don't die heroes don't give up heroes never die am i doing a stream on my birthday yeah probably i'm down to I mean, it's a, it's a fucking Wednesday anyway. Like, what else am I gonna do on a Wednesday? Um, masturbate hard, refusely. Well, I can do that after stream. Oh, okay. Heroes, heroes never die. <laughs> ah, that that was a memory, right? No, it's from that flashback light. <laughs> <laughs> this flashback light has a special effect. Is this Soichi just now? Uh, okay. Yeah, that must have been the flashback light. The one that Monokuma used after Kaido's trial. Huh? Kiba also got fucked up right there. <laughs> after the after Kaido's trial. Run voice. Oh fuck. After Kaido's trial. Hey. Hey. What do you remember? Uh, um... That memory? I remember that memory. <laughs> Was when I tried to get away from the Gopher Project and threw away my talent. Oh, yeah. I remember the same thing. But why? Why didn't Monokuma give us that memory? And we were experiencing... And, 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 and. And we experienced another flashback like that one, which we just saw. I don't know, but I can't hesitate now. I don't know. <laughs> no way. Maki, let's focus on the investigation. There are a lot of things we need to check. Well... You're heading to Okichi's room, right? And then I'll go with you. Huh? Huh? You will? 
Something about him concerns me. That's why I want to check. She looks worried. Did that flashback? What? Do you want to die? Uh, um... uh, no, nothing. Let's go. Even so. A hero, huh? I need a hero. I'm holding up over here. I'm out of the line. It's gonna be my shit. It's gonna be my shit. It's gonna be my shit. Now we can clear one debris. Do, do we complete a whole debris? Shit, dude. Ow, oh, shit. Ow, oh, shit. One whole debris. You can one debris. Congratulations. Get out of here. Slap Get out you of here. I don't even want to look at you anymore. You <laughs> zigged me. Uh, Perhaps they do what it's worth, but it is a thick one. Yeah, um, we'll, 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 we'll talk it over. We'll see what we want to do. Okay. Y'all fighting? You fighting? You fighting right now? Oh, fuck. <laughs> need help? Too much need help. Okay, okay. We gotta talk to you? No? Okay. Do we see Kibo in the sky? Is that a thing? <laughs> Kibo is all around us, Brian. He is, uh, he's like a god in many ways. Huh? There he is. Right next to Kibo's room. What? Ah! What? <laughs> Does he have like a cardboard cutout of <laughs> Rantaro? What the fuck? Oh, what a fucking weird really little cool. gremlin boy. I think I love him even more now. What, he's got a horse head. Dude, what look is at the this, board. Godfather? We're trustworthy. Kokiji, we are. Kokiji said we're trustworthy, but Maki's suspicious. <laughs> and the, and the Mono Cubs are annoying. <laughs> Who's that other person drawn next to Tenko? Uh, so this is uh. Kokiji's room. I don't know where to go, uh, where he got all this, but. He hoarded a lot of things. It's unsettling, but we should investigate it. I'm right. But investigating this room. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! We might learn more about Kokichi. Kokichi said that he was the leader of an organization opposed to the Gopher Project. In that effort, he tried to take the position of a mastermind. The flashback light helped us remember that organization was a remnant of the of despair. He got like a fucking horse head mask on his bed. That his That's crown. what I'm saying. It's like the Godfather. <laughs> uh, Kokiji was that leader of the remnants of despair. But is that the real truth? I feel as if though there might be a lie in there. Really? Really? We're, we're not going to talk about the Rantaro cutout that he has tied upside down next to his bed? That's not noteworthy at all? Really? Nope. Not at all. Okay. It's a mono cup pad. They gave us all these to use as motives during Kurumi's case. But the motive videos were switched up, and we each got someone else's video. Oh, that's Wax Rantaro. Got it. Oh. Uh, that motherfucker stole it. <laughs> I can't believe this motive video is Kokichi's. Then... then there's no point in looking, is there? No. No. We should check. I want to know what he knew. It would explain his actions. When I touched my finger to the pad, the video started playing. in your life and now didn't they during the trial play all of everyone's motive videos in front of them they didn't or play everyone's no oh okay what kokichi's kokichi oma the ultimate supreme leader whoa who's the big clown guy they're, all, they're clown all kind people. of big clown guys but like that that dude with he's got the big old like ronald mcdonald hair <laughs> i love it 
him the world over as the leader of the secret organization, Dice. He's the leader of the group. You know him well. He's finally back to kick some tail. And by mayhem, <laughs> I mean petty nonviolent crimes and harm. Kokichi. Kokichi Kong. Kokichi had ten loyal goons working for him. Only ten? His goons were like friends and family. The most important people in his life. I only see nine goons, unless Kokichi counts as the tenth. He might be. But yeah. then, a terrible oh. event befell those precious people. What kind of event? It's a secret. Find out for yourself. <laughs> In Danganronpa V4. <laughs> right. Well, you play as them all, and we put them all through a killing game. So, this was Kogichi's motor video. Why? Why did he have his own motor video? Did he exchange it with someone else? No. Or maybe he was, or maybe uh, he was given his own motor video from the start. Like Harumi. I see. Oh, so Karumi was the only one, wasn't the only one who got their own motor video. Well, either way, it doesn't matter anymore. That is true, but the con but the content of that motive video is discerning and discerning, disconcerting, disconcerning, is it in con consistent? It, it consistent with yeah, it's consistent with the information we already know about Kogichi. But what can I deduce from that? What the deuce? What the deuce? I never thought a motive the video would be a concern now. Kokichi gathered all those pieces of investigating was concern. Uh, c c con, 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 co coincidence. Consider it. No, you're, you're right. It's coincidence. But, but I, I don't know what you said of the other word, but that's evidence. The evidence, evidence. is coincidence. Oh, uh, okay. Right? Right? They? Damn, I just watched that now jump a hella amount. So it keeps going even while we're reading. Cool. Ah, this is the hidden camera I set up in the lab. Library. And this is the inner tube that was floating in the pool. Ah, this is the book from the caged child saying the science. Say it. Science. <laughs> science. <laughs> He was gathering all the evidence from the past uh, incidents. The murder weapons aren't here. But why on earth has he gathered all this? No, it's pointless to try to understand what he was thinking. You're right. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps you might be right about the idiot. So this is all just collected evidence, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Alrighty. Box of documents. There are several cardboard boxes filled with documents. Mm. These look like blueprints. Oh my god, he was trying to make a lightsaber. Oh fuck! And a rainbow and, gun. Yes, and a rainbow gun, gun that shoots rainbows. That's red as fuck, dude. Dude, he's he's smart. Huh? Blueprints. I like how he draws like a five-year-old. Right. It's, <laughs> it's kind of fitting for Kokichi. Yeah. It's probably drawn in like crayon too. Probably. They're almost drawing of uh, childish fantasy weapons, like ray guns and beam swords. <laughs> that says the gay beam. <laughs> the gay beam. <laughs> Prepare for my gay beam. <laughs> now you'll fall in love with me, Soichi. You shoot and it just goes, hey. <laughs> I wonder if the electrical hammer or electrical bomb blueprints are here. Maybe he drew whatever he came to mind, and then selected a few for me or the Kray. I don't understand. Look at everything. A lot of these childish designs seem impossible to create. That's... That might be Kokichi's intentions. Huh? His intentions? Remember. He, he could have prepared a few fake blueprints to mask the real ones. And it's nearly impossible to check them all then. Wait, yeah, it's nearly impossible to check all of them. 
lowering the chance that someone would find it. You mean there might be something important in among this stuff? I believe I believe that's a possibility, but we don't have time to look. And then I'll do it. Huh? M Maki took a put, took a seat in front of one of the boxes and began searching the blueprints. M Maki. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Thank God we don't have to do it. So we just leave her here? <laughs> I guess. If it's all just collected evidence, I think we looked at everything, yeah? Yeah, pad evidence. Um, pad speakers. Evidence. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to leave. Nope. There That's must be more. Work. It's probably the monitors. These things? Yeah. I don't have time to be staring at Whatever, fuck you, Suichi. I thought. But Kipo is keeping Monokuma in the busy, yeah. Find the truth, yep. Find the truth. Whatever, Whatever Suichi. Oh, post with the raid, and it didn't scare me this time. Post Look at that, with the I'm most. learning as I fight. Learning as he fights. I mean, I, I don't know, like, if that's all just... Thank you for the raid, by the way, Post. Appreciate it. Damn, you'll get me next time. The thing is, I was looking at the screen the second it happened. Oh. So I wasn't ready for it. You should have waited one second. <laughs> Always hesitate now, Post. Wait like a second now, every time. <laughs> every time. Every time you think you're going to do it, just wait. Okay, so it's just more of the evidence. To do. Yeah. Oh. What else? Brian, what am I missing? Um... Maki? Maggie, yeah, I guess we talked to Oh, I didn't do a stretch. <laughs> hey, I want to ask you something. Huh? Mm hmm. What is it, Maki? Mm. Kaido believed Kokichi. He believed that someone was watching this killing game. What do you mean? What do you think? I'm... Kokichi doesn't have a compelling point. Oh, he does have a compelling he point. He does have a compelling point. Yeah. This killing game only makes sense if there's an audience. Hi, how you doing, by the way, Post? What, uh, what, what were you playing? What were you doing, Post? Uh, why else would there be all of these rules designed to make it more interesting? Because It's just like Junko Inoshima's uh, killing games from the past. Good, played New World. Uh, new, isn't that that, like, Amazon MMO or something? Oh, really? How is that oh. game? I, I feel like I've heard decent things about it, but I haven't really looked into it too much. It's a new world. It's a new world. Is that the theme song goes? <laughs> yeah, probably. Something like that. <laughs> Monaco was particularly strict about upholding the rules and livening up the killing game. Is it because someone's watching? But we're all that's left a few minutes. Yard. We Whoa! The demons. <laughs> the demons are coming. Uh, yeah. Even if he did say it was a show, it was to show someone, no one else is alive anywhere else, right? It's fun, really grindy like MMOs usually are. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I haven't really been on board with any MMOs for a long time. I, I don't think I particularly need another one in my life, but lots <laughs> of bots, but they can't interact with you, so it's a... Uh, yeah. uh, well, I mean, as, as long as the game is fun, I guess that's really all that matters, right? Hopefully. Hopefully it's fun. You having fun? <laughs> I wonder if someone really did it, it, it infiltrate this place. Uh, okay. That is a mystery. But all the mysteries can uh, conceal, conceal some truth. <laughs> conceal. <laughs> conceal. Uh, there's still a truth. To, uh, there's still truth to find in this killing game. But that the truth is hope or despair it is another matter entirely. Uh, I mean, I just played like seven Ugh. hours of it, so yeah, I'd hope so. Wow, dang. Damn. I can't remember the last time I played seven hours of anything. All right. Unless it's a fucking trial in this <sighs> game. Or a porn. Um, that covers just about everything, Kokichi's room. 
If you're done, you can leave. I'm gonna check the blueprints. But but we rely if we rely on you the most, especially in this situation. You being the main character and all. After all, you're Kaido psychic. Maki, does this mean I'm in? But 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 before you go, I have something strange that I wanted I want you to look at. Is it your, Is it your tits? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! You get it! Oh, so perverts! Yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are terrible. Yeah, this is the worst kind up. of humans. All right. <laughs> Something strange. Oh, is that your tits? What is this? This is a real will. <laughs> hey, wait a minute! This isn't boobs. <laughs> I feel gypped. I think it's a real. I think it's a real will. But I wouldn't be able. I wouldn't be surprised if it's fake. He was a liar after all. But if it is real, why did he leave it? Could it be? He left. Uh, he left us this information in case his plan failed. Huh? He did. I don't think he would do something like that. Well, well we should look inside. And then we'll know more. When I opened the envelope. Small pieces of paper fell out. Just more plans for another rainbow gun. <laughs> huh? A second message. The walls next to the boiler. After all, isn't it probably another one of his horrible pranks? I'm not sure about that. Well, I actually think his pranks are pretty good. <laughs> I should investigate just in case. It might be an important clue. Do what you want. Just don't waste any time. It'll draw. It'll be. It'll draw. It'll be done before you know it. Okay. Yeah. All right. I should head to the boiler in the garden. Okay, I'll do that. Well, the sick DBZ music. <laughs> Bro, I saw it at um at Walmart for like. I want to say it was like 30, 40 bucks. Maybe thirty bucks. That sounds about right. You can get the complete. GT. Oh, it's key box! Oh, look at him. He's flying. Oh, he's going. Oh, let him go. Use the beam. Dude. Get him. Get him. Well, let him. Keep out. Buddy. Hey. Hi. Hey. Fly by and give me a high five. <laughs> do, do, do you like what I did in that one game? In uh, Inside Mine? Uh, he's, he's busy. He's busy. I'll just, uh, he's you look fun. cool, though, buddy. You look real cool. You're doing great. Um, Fuck, what was I saying? Uh, For 30 bucks, you could get... Yeah, yeah, you can get the complete GT on Blu-ray, Mike. On Blu-ray. On Blu-ray. I almost did it. Not dividend. Almost. I'm not dividend. Blu-ray. Blu-ray. Yeah. Too bad GT's not very good. No, I know, but it'll still be fun to have. You yeah. know. I don't know. One day. One day. Because I want to get Kai and all that too. Anyways, the wall next to the boiler. What could it be? Perhaps it's just a prank. It's just a prank, bro. Just prank, bro. So, which, which, oh, this wall. Oh, around here. <clears throat> this area used to be covered in grass. You know, grass not ass, but it's completely removed. It shouldn't be hard to find it now. Ass, gas, or grass, nobody rides for free. <laughs> ah. Post says, okay, I'm off. Have a good night. Hope you get to look at those tits. Thank you so much, Post. We appreciate it. We appreciate the one, raid. Have a fantastic rest of your night. Yeah, but one day we'll see the tits. One, one day. day. One day. One day. It'll slip out. Um, I let out a gas when I saw it. That's all it. Yeah. Twinsby. Huh? Excuse me? Twinsby. 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 The fuck is Twinsby? Twinsby. <laughs> Twins V? Brian. Twins V. Twins V? Twin, twin, twins V. Twins, twins V? Twins V. You get it. Uh, do I? Twins V. <laughs> uh, is this a second message? Yeah. <laughs> what could this possibly mean? It pretty clearly means Twins V. <laughs> it was written by Kokichi, like the other messages. And then they're meant to be read together. Twinsby? Twinsby? 
In that case, it seems as though the message is incomplete. I don't know, man. It seems fine to me. The world is mine, world... Kikichiyoma. Twinsby. <laughs> Twinsby. <laughs> Wait, maybe, maybe, maybe it's the world is not so bad. Twinsby. Yeah? Oh. This world is mine. This world is not so bad. This world is not so bad. Twinsby. If you like, the Twinsby is just just its own thing. That's gonna be our new like motto. You know, this world is not so bad. Twinsby. Twinsby. <laughs> but if this is incomplete, what was Kokichi trying to do by telling us? Oh god, we're getting flashed again, and not in the way we want. <sighs> again. Twinsby! Twinsby! Look at your pants! Hey, look at your pants! <laughs> Makoto. Shuichi Saihara. Do you have your ultimate memory back? Yes. Okay. Yeah. As the headmaster of Hope Speak Academy, I want to ask you. Please cooperate with the Gopher Project. It's really cool. <laughs> it's, re it's really cool. So cool. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel bad about this. I know how much you all wanted to run, even if it meant no longer being ultimates. Those of you who have to live on like this might be the real victims here. But the only people who can go through with this project are you 16 who haven't been infected. The fate of humanity rests on your shoulders. No pressure. The fate of humanity? Yeah, dude. What's the point? <laughs> huh? Even if this ridiculous mission is a success and we all survive, what's the point? Why try so hard to save the seeds of humanity? Man, you're a real bummer, huh? I don't understand. <laughs> Perhaps you'll be the ones who will create that point. It's true that this situation you're all being forced into is harsh. So harsh, so, so harsh that you think it'd be better to just die. And you'd be right. But I still want you all to live. For those of us who want to live but can't, you 16 who can live are hope itself. That, that real premium top shelf hope, you know what I mean? So please. I don't want to see you give up hope. Why is it in quotes? I feel like I should be doing like finger quotes. Like I don't want to see you give up hope. I want you to keep hope alive. Cool hat, by the way. <laughs> ah, my head. Oh no, this rum and coke got poured a little too much, Joe. Oh. Yeah, my, I think you poured it heavily on purpose. I think you knew exactly what you were doing. You, you have a high functioning alcoholic. You are a high functioning alcoholic. I remembered something again. That's it. We were in Hope's Peak, and we were participating in the Begofer Project. In the Begofer Project. In the Begofer. At that moment, I heard something crumbling above me. Man, y'all just breaking everything up there, huh? Yep. Is this gonna unlock more secret stairs? Is Where they fight, easy? they find stairs. Their oh. battles may destroy, but they also create stairs. <sighs> oh, I got like a burning fucking headache for some reason now. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, uh. Pant pant. Are you alright? Suichi, what's wrong? Are you alright? No, you almost blow me to fucking shit, dude. Ke Kibo. Uh, shot through the heart, and you're to blame. <laughs> you give love a bad name. <laughs> Falls down. Okay. Yeah. I'm okay. I'm sorry. I was experiencing a sudden flashback, and my hand slipped. Then... Ah, did you remember too, Kibo? Yeah. Yes, we were at Hope Speak Academy about the sign on to the Gopher Project. But... 
What is Monokuma, uh, Monokuma? What is Monokuma thinking? Having us remember that now? What is Monokuma thinking? As I thought. He's probably trying to make us feel despair again. Despair? No, but these memories. These memories. So Kibo, you're just not gonna fight, huh? You're just gonna stand here. <laughs> How's your investigating? How's your investigation going? Will you be able to end the killing game your way? Hope so. Otherwise, I'm blowing you all to shit. Uh, Oop. Um... Uh, it's going fine. I really just started. I'd say a solid six out of ten so far. Oop. There are a lot of areas in this academy we haven't investigated. Areas you haven't investigated. Hmm. Rantaro's lab is a uh, in a, also an accessible. Thanks to Monokuma's ridiculous rule. Okay. That's right. I'm concerned about that too. If only there were some way to get in. Blow a hole in it, Kibo. Um. I will help you. Thank you. Huh? Help me. Logical. By destroying the door in his research lab, you can enter it. If you could, that would really help. Please. Then please head to his lab, and I will meet you there. So Kibo's helping us now, but like the threat is still Kibo. Yeah. I'm very confused. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. But be careful. Monokuma will be after you for conducting an investigation without his permission. The Exosols may not kill you outright, but they will definitely try to stop you. Uh, okay. Right. Listen closely. The the thing the thing the if the things get dangerous, call me and I will deal with the Exosols. Call me, beat me if you need to reach me. Huh? You're gonna help me, Kibo? Yeah. I'm not your enemy. That is why I am helping you with your investigation. I'm not your enemy. I'm just the guy who threatened to blow this whole place up. <laughs> But only until the time limit expires at dawn. Yeah, okay. You know, that that's a time limit that you just arbitrarily gave us, right? Like, you could extend that if you wanted to not be a dick. Right. Only until the time limit, huh? I suppose he's still hell-bent on destroying this academy. Still. You haven't... You have changed, Kibo. Yeah, Kibo. Fame got to your head, dude. <laughs> Is it because of the situation? Or because he can't hear his inner voice? Right now, I should focus on Rantaro. He died before revealing his ultimate talent, but he seemed to know more than we did. Hey, I have a question. This might sound a little weird, but... Does the term ultimate hunt ring a bell for anyone? You trying to see my dick? <laughs> want to see my dick. <laughs> before we remember that event, he knew about the ultimate hunt. But why? There must be a clue somewhere that will lead us to his, to the mastermind. All right. I'm going to do anything I can, not give it up. I won't give up on hope. I need to keep hope alive. Great. And to do that, I need to get inside Rantaro's lab. Great. Where's his lab again? Oh, congratulations, congratulations you, you have unlocked the Kibo gun. Hold A or RB near an Exosol to fill up energy. When the energy is filled to the max, Kibo will come to save you. <laughs> Use it as you need it. Smoke him if you got him. Smoke him if you got him. Yeah, I, I, I do not remember where Rantar's lab is. I'm um, 100% with you. Yeah, I'm trying. I can look it up. <laughs> that might not be the worst idea, because otherwise right. I'll just be running around like a fucking idiot. Well, just because we're kind of timed. I mean, if you want to pause and maybe do a save, or I don't know. Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. Save. Anyway. That way it gives me time to, like, look and not kill our clock. <laughs> Taro's lab. Rantaro's Location. Alright, uh, this is, uh, is on the fifth floor of the academy near Suichi's lab. Oh, okay. Great. Fucking cool. red, dude. Fucking cool guy shit. 
Oh. Oh. My body. So, so, sorry. But there's info you gotta know. Hold it. Yeah, remember what I just told you? Do that. Now. There's no trick. Just do it. How close do I need to be on there? Oh. Kim, Kibo. Fuck up his <laughs> whole day. Go worry, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck okay. things up for you, but I'm gonna help you. Yeah, I will say, th this is one of those things where it's like such a little weird plot contrivance where it's like, oh, that th the guy who gave you the arbitrary time limit is also still your friend and trying to help you, but <laughs> God, God forbid you need an extra three seconds, he'll blow everything to shit. Be bright. <laughs> Oh, we're friends though, don't worry. We're cool though. I also don't really quite understand the idea behind the mechanic of like the debris and needing more friend points to clear debris. Probably just it's... to make it an obstacle. Well, yeah, I get that, but like. What's the justification for that? Because it's not like your friends are actually helping you. Like, Maki's still in Kokichi's room. She's not actually helping us here. True, sure, she's uh, reading through files right now. So is, is it just like the friendship gives us strength? Is that what it is? <laughs> Sora, after all. How are everybody doing tonight, huh? How y'all doing? Y'all doing good? A round of applause. How do you feel? How do you feel? You. Oh shit. Kim came up. Intercept. These nuts. Kim says, I'm good. You know what, Kim? I'm glad that you're good. I'm good that you're good. I'm good that you're good? Yeah. Getting I'm slurped. Getting... Yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice. I see you. Hey. Hey, hey, come hey, to Papa. Come to, come to Papa. Look at your little cute bat wings. Come, come I just want. <laughs> Thank you. Look at me go. They're like the silver coins in Sonic 06. They don't do anything, but you know you want them. But you know you want you them. You know you want them. Oh, is this Rantaro? Oh, that's cosplay. Oh, that's cosplay. cosplay. He's should be next to us, I believe. Oh, yeah, this one? There he is. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's right, he had the he weird is. crazy door. Rantaro's lab. Door. Came out! Damn, Kibo. You're so cool. We're still in here! Yeah, also, really, like, be fucking careful, dude. Eh? Thank you for waiting. That, that was one hell of an entrance. You did the superhero pose on one knee and everything. Listen closely. <laughs> I will destroy this door at once. Please stand back, Suishi. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Okay! Just blows up the whole lab. Right, I was just thinking that. <laughs> well then, I will leave the rest to you. Clean this shit up, you little fucker. <laughs> if there's anything else you would like to do, uh, do you would like to access, but can't, please call me. I will blast an entrance just like I did for you now. And uh, just as soon as he came, keep a left. Anywhere, anywhere I'd like to access. If I can't go, in, if I can go anywhere, will Kibo help? Uh, does that mean I can get in there, too? <laughs> Maki's pants? <laughs> Maki! <laughs> oh, Rantaro's case first. I need to investigate this lab. Okay, so wait. If... If we can't go in people's rooms when they die, how come we were okay to go into oh, K-Dogs when she died? I'm finally in. So this is Rantaro's lab. Wasn't it just something that, like, if it hadn't been opened uh, before someone oh, dies? Like, you discover it? Right. Yeah. What kind of room is this? It's almost frightening. That's pretty cool. It's 
pretty cool guy shit. What was his talent? I thought I would understand once I came here. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know, but just looking at this, he seems like a talented dude, I'll tell you that right now. I'm not exactly <laughs> sure what the talent is, but it's there, looks, I can tell. He, look, he looks a little conspiracy with all the red, like, wires everywhere. Yeah, there's also, like, swords and roses sticking out of the ground. And it looks like he almost has, like, his own, like, trial table right here, kind of. Yeah. Huh. Uh, yeah. Oh, hey, Himiko. Himiko! I don't get it at all. Oh. Himiko. Hey, Shuichi. Was that explosion the sound of you breaking down this lab's door? That's pretty drastic. No. Ah, <laughs> uh, that wasn't me. It was Kibo. But... What even is this place? It's got an awful atmosphere. The feng shui is way off. Okay. It looks like some kind of puzzle, bro. So maybe he was the ultimate quiz king? And he <sighs> got that title by winning game shows? I'm not sure. We we should investigate, sure. First. <laughs> we should investigate, sure. <laughs> that I shall help you! <laughs> Be happy! The legendary mage is your sidekick! Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, that makes me feel better. Is this like flicking a stick like a wand in the corner? Like, ooh. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> a giant vault. A giant vault and a laptop appear to be the only things of interest in this entire fucking room. Those are the only cool things, man. This is a vault, but it doesn't look like a normal vault. Uh, this vault doors are like a puzzle. Look at the two dials. So one of them is the zodiacs, while the other is like the Chinese zodiac. Interesting. Very interesting oh. indeed. Yeah. The dial on the right is labeled A, and it has a bunch of Chinese zodiac animals on it. And the one on the left is labeled B, and it has a bunch of different astrological signs on it. So, it looks like if we move both of the dials to the right things, the vault will open. Um, it says something about a hint somewhere in the academy. See, but this is this is a terrible, like, vault. Like, you could easily brute force this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. With the two doors right here? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah? Was there really a hint? It'll be okay. Well, we don't need to think so hard. We just gotta try every combination. So if there's 12 Chinese Zodiac animals and 12 astrological signs, then it's just 12 times 12. Uh, um, that's 144. Too many to try all the combinations at random. Well, I guess under our time limit, but in any other circumstance, that's no big deal at all. Right. Did you know the answer? Because I don't get it at all. Hey. Wait a minute. Let me think. There's there's an A and a B dial. One with the Chinese zodiac and the other one with the astrology uh, symbols. And a hint somewhere in the academy. I'm sure I can solve this. Captain, yeah, 144 is not too hard to try. Oh my god, this is making me math angry. <laughs> this is making me well, that's, math angry. That's what angry. I'm saying. Like, uh, obviously, we're under like a time limit here, but just normally, like this being a setup for a vault is such a horrible idea. This is so easy to break into. <laughs> <laughs> Shuichi, I know I yelled at you just now, but talk to me when you're stuck. <laughs> that should help you have an epiphany. I am a legendary mage after all. Okay. Talk to me when you're stuck. <laughs> yeah, thank you. You could likely switch through each dial in under a second. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's no time. I have to try. I should investigate these dials. Yeah, instead we're going to waste all this time investigating the dial and trying to figure out the proper thing when we could just be brute forcing it. Right. I can't figure it out. I can ask Kimiko. Okay, well, let me look at the laptop first. Hmm. The laptop. Ah. Ooh, this looks promising. My magic's telling me this is important. You're right. There might be a clue in here. I should check. It looks like there's still, like it still works. I should see what's on here. Hmm. hmm. Yeah, what's the matter? Uh, um, it's empty. What's that mean? Empty? What do you mean? Empty like my head? No. <laughs> no. There's no data in it at all. Oh, just like my head. Oh, 
What? Why put a laptop here if it doesn't even have anything interesting on it? You're right. Seems like that's the case. But... I don't know, but my magic reacted to something. There's got to be something. Check it better. Check it better. Anyway, what was that about magic? Her magic, it detected. Check it better. Check it better. Or don't. I don't know. So that that's how fast it yeah, I mean that's that's not too bad. You would be four so look at this. Do that shit? <laughs> you like it? Is this doing anything for you? There's a clue somewhere in the academy. Well that's just yeah. fucking vague enough to not be really all that helpful. I have to investigate. Oh I gotta talk to Himaka. Himaka. Hmm, I hit somewhere in the academy. I wonder if it's like a diagram or some letters. It'd be a problem if it wasn't some big object. Well, okay, so we know twins B, right? Yeah, so that's like Gemini then, right? Yeah. Because twins, Geminis are the twins. I've almost yeah, got to figure it out. Do I just not have enough mana? Uh, I, 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 I feel as though I'm right on uh, the cups? cusp. cusp of discovering something. Perhaps I should keep talking to Himiko. Something will come up. Well, okay. wait, hold on a second. So, we know we know twins be. So that's Gemini. Is that what we want? Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, I don't know that we have anything for this yet, do we? I mean, there was a dragon statue, I remember. He had a horse head in his room. Oh, maybe. A goat, a monkey. Uh, yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. What Probably something. Try the dragon. Can you hit Y? What will it do if you hit Y? No. Oh, okay. Alright. Alright, what's up? Haha, Michael. Dial labeled A with 12 Chinese zodiac signs, a dial labeled B with 12 astrological signs. So we need to think about A, B, the Chinese zodiac, and astrological signs. Those are the clues to opening this vault. Yeah, we know that. Yeah, I feel like there was something, but. But what? But what? Um, think. Let me think. Oh, a rooster like a chicken? It's a chicken! It's chicken! Dog, pig, rat, ox. Tiger claws. What are you thinking? Uh, no, I was just reading what Cam was saying. Uh, assuming it takes two oh. seconds on average to switch the positions. It would be 288 seconds, which is less than five minutes to just brute force it. And from doing any amount of team projects, it takes more than five minutes to just settle on what the objective is, let alone selecting the heuristic. Yeah. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, I don't. I don't know that the game will let you just brute force it. I think it needs to know that like you have. You it. found it. <laughs> oh, this is a monkey. Just <laughs> do it. Yeah, oh, I thought it worked. I was like, oh shit. That'd be pretty great. All right, here we go. What else you got for me? Yeah, a clue somewhere in this academy, but I just can't think of any. Maybe it was hidden really well? No, it, it must be a hint of some kind. There would be no point of no one saw it. Could it be? Someone psychological blind spot. A psychological blight spot, huh? That's a magical concept. Huh? Magical concept? I'm a mage. Hmm, there's a technique mages use when casting spells. Okay. For example, when we cast big spells, we had a bunch of flashy over the top stuff. How about that? We have the audience focus on all that stuff to hide the source of our magic. A source of magic? 
like the method behind it. Of course, my magic is very advanced, you know. Even if the source of magic for my spells was leaked, not just anyone could copy them. I usually don't need to hide it, but it's better safe than sorry. Uh, okay. Right. Okay. Anyway, maybe that clue was hidden from us like that? We probably already saw it, but we don't know it's a clue yet. Something we already saw. Uh, oh! That's it! Himiko's right! Kokichi's message! Horse! Oh, that! That's right! I horse forgot the horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah! Oh! Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Alright. Okay. Okay. Right. Going to the first saw the message of Red See, Horse, eh? I was right when I said the horse head thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, you were actually. You, we should have done it. <laughs> But maybe Tokichi added those messages. What's just a diversion? Thinking about the way the other message. Yeah, we know. We know. We know this one. Twinsby, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Twinsby, yeah, I know. Gemini, yeah, it's me. Hi. Those two messages are clues. They're not even clues, they're just literally the answer. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god. See, something like this would be generally cool, but, like, it, the problem is it's just been so long since, like, you've seen the horse A thing that I don't know how anyone would remember that. Right? What the frick? <laughs> right. Yes, it opened. I don't know how, but it opened! But what did all of this mean? Is that alright? The hint in the academy is the message that Kokichi wrote. It was a clue from those dials. How do these you dials? know about the dials in Rentaro's room? I don't know. He climbed the walls like a little gremlin. Probably. The original message was written over. Remember. When Gonta saw it, it just said, Hossa. Hossa. <laughs> Kokichi added more to it. It sounds like something like Stitch would say, like, Hossa. Hossa. But that was just a diversion. Diversion. Okay. Yeah, we get it. Horse A was actually Thank the you. complete crew. We get it. Thank you. Do you understand? I can ah, show you. Ah, I then. see. So the A dial should be on the horse. Horse <laughs> A. You see, because that was the original message, but then it was written over. But the original message was the one that you needed to know. Horse A. <laughs> so the Chinese zodiac dial A was Hossa. Oh, okay, I get it. The other hints were hidden in the rear garden. What was that one? I forgot. <laughs> no, Mike, you asked. Mike, <laughs> it said Twin B. <laughs> Wait, when did we see this? I don't remember. Ah. Got it. So the B dial should be on Gemini. Because yes. the, the twins and B. <laughs> yes. The astrological uh, zodiacs on dial B was Gemini. Oh, okay. That's cute. Yeah, so that's what it meant. Thanks to your deductions, everything's all cleared up. Why? But. Why did Kokichi add all that stuff to it? That's true. He was trying to make himself seem like he was the mastermind. He needed us to believe it. He was trying to be the mastermind. Be mastermind. Oh, so it wasn't Twins B. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, causing us problems even after he's dead. He's such a pain. Let's see what's in the vault. <laughs> also, Twin B is a good shoot 'em up. Is it? Uh, if it was this difficult to get in here, there must be something important inside. Uh, I'm getting nervous. Is it okay if I barf first? No. Do you feel nauseous when you're nervous? Do it in my mouth. <laughs> Alright, you want to you want to you want to take the thing in the vault, maybe? Well, let's talk more about the Twin B. 
I peeked in the open vault and found. The open vault where I had to use the twins B and the horse A in order to open it, because you see the twins were referring to the Gemini. <laughs> this goes right back and explaining. It's a USB stick. Oh my god, and there's a laptop on the table. We can use it right away. Oh my oh, god. Oh fuck. Oh my fucking god. Well, a lot of Kuma pattern must be there's something here, but how do we check inside? If only we had like some kind of computer nearby that we could plug this into. <laughs> I don't know. You want me to explain the, the, the Gemini thing again? Yeah, thoroughly, though. Mm, I could use that thing in this lab. That thing in this lab? This lab? That thing? You know what I'm saying. Okay. Alright. It looks like it still works. If I put the USB in here, I should be able to check the data. Grab the USB. Sorry, man. Yawn. Grab. And then grab the USB from the safe and plug it into the laptop. Well, man, you're just raw dogging it like that. That could have a virus on it. <laughs> just raw dogging it. I found a single file. Could it be? A video. I opened the video file and. Unfortunately, this laptop didn't have built in speakers, so we couldn't hear it. <laughs> what? Oh, what a cock tease. Hey Whoa. I know this guy. Take it by surprise. I was scared. <laughs> Stop the video when I'm thinking. Oh, I'm so surprised. Hey. Sorry, what I don't this? sleep well. Uh, that was that was Rentaro, right? He probably recorded it here before he died, <gasps> or maybe he recorded it after he died. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> Magic! <laughs> no, that couldn't be the case. No, he definitely recorded it after he died. <laughs> the video was clearly recorded in Red Taro's lab. If I remember correctly. But we only were able to get inside this room just now. No. It was supposed to open up after Gonta's case, but Red Taro was already dead. I mean, you guys realize that, like, y'all were in this school before the events of this game, right? And, like, you lost your memory. So, like, it's feasible it. that this stuff happened before you guys lost your memory. Whatever. You speaking crazy, Miss Mike. It was locked permanently. Permanently. Ugh. But thanks to Kibo, we were able to get inside. But... Knowing all that, how could Rain Taro have recorded a video in this room? Maybe he green screened it. I don't fucking know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that, that might be true, but should we check the video first? Okay. <laughs> green screened it. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. Right. I turned to the laptop once again, and with a trembling hand, I played the video. The video. The video. <laughs> just dick fully out. Oh, yeah, oh, just one like, this is real! <laughs> just like front and center. Good teach you go. Yeah. I know his name. Yeah, you go. To the ranch tomorrow <laughs> after you question. So, let's get to it. Then. The reason I recorded this video, I won the right to a special perk for participating in the killing. Part of that perk is this video message. Monokuma said he was gonna make some kind of puzzle for me. But the fact that you're watching this. It's a shame you're gonna die. <laughs> yeah, we're shame. You didn't make it very far, dude. Also, yeah. you can't share this with anyone. If you catch Monokuma shooing anyone away from you, that's why. There's another part to this perk. Something you get at the start of the game. I bet you a gun. Know what I'm about. <laughs> Something you've had from the start. Yeah. Now, I thought that if you were smart, you'd have used it to end the killing. <laughs> well, yeah, if you got a gun, I mean, just, just go nuts. All right. But if you're watching this, that obviously didn't work out. Life's never easy, huh? Well, anyway, that's the perk. Other than that, you're just like all the others. Go in, they wipe your memories, and you start killing. That's the way it is. That's just the way it is. 
And people never change, never be same. Whoa. Sorry. It's killing you. Continue. It's there are only two people. <laughs> now the important part of that rule is that. Oh shit. <laughs> now you die. Saying that, huh? Guess you'll have to solve that little mystery. But hey, you're smart. I know you can do it. That's your talent. You're the ultimate smart guy. You're the ultimate smart guy. <laughs> <laughs> you've, you've killed a lot. <laughs> you survived the last killing game. Oh, <laughs> you're here. You're the killing game champion, like three years running. <laughs> That's why you get this Jesus. Place, the survivor. But it's not all fun and games. Fun and games. You know what? It makes sense because anyone who survives from the last game always dies. So watch your back. Well, in a sense, Spike, Spike who had really didn't die never again. Forget. Okay. <laughs> huh? What is this? This isn't the first killing game. A panic. Oh, a killing game that he wanted. What's that mean? Sh Shuichi, wh what did all that mean? Who was Rantaro Abami? If I remember correctly, said he survived the last killing game. And that video is part of the survivor perk. He was the ultimate survivor, an expert at the killing games. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. At death games, they're different. Thank you very much. Oh, oh, death games, yeah. Then why did he die so quickly? Remember, remember what he said. Anyone who finds out who you are is gonna come for you. They're gonna come for you, and they're gonna try to shoot you with a rainbow gun. The rainbow gun is the ultimate weapon. So if you see anyone with plans to make it, you take care of them. <laughs> By the way, make best friends with, with the supreme leader. <laughs> the one that was coming for him, was he talking about Kaede? No. No. She didn't know about Rantaro's identity. She thought he was the mastermind. Hmm. Then who was the one that knew Rantaro's true identity? Could it be... The real mastermind would have known. Then... In other words, the mastermind hidden in this academy set up Rantaro to be killed? Uh, okay. I believe so. Well... For now. Hmm. And he said he wanted this killing game. Well, why would he want that? Jeez. If he hadn't done such a stupid thing, he probably wouldn't have been killed. Another killing game. Fucking goddamn it! <laughs> Why would he even participate in the first place? What was the other killing game? Because the killing game is a game of killing. I don't know. <laughs> there was another thing. Rantaro said his survivor perk had another part, right? What was that other part? You're right. He said he had it at the start of the game. Oh my god! It turns out this whole time his penis was a gun. And when oh he my was god, asking he... if people wanted to see it, if he was asking it. if they wanted to die. Oh my Oof. god. We figured it out, dude. Damn, that's a thick cock. Yeah. Uh, but when he found his body. If I remember correctly. He had, he had, he had, he had. All he had on him was his room key and the monopad. And that monopad was the same student handbook we had. That it might still be left in his dorm room. Okay. Yeah, it could be. I never imagined Rantaro was the first victim would come up again like this. It's almost like some kind of callback. <laughs> oh, flash oh, me, shut. daddy. A gun? It, it's happening. The flash whack. Brain blast. A brain blast. This time I just saw God. I don't know why, but my whole entire body is just achy. What's going on? With yeah, me? you're falling What's apart happening? over there, man. My dying. 
project. Look at these happy young men. Yeah. It's Tim, Gerald, and Peter. Tim, Gerald, and yeah. Peter. Everyone's favorite. Everyone's favorite. Dang and Rob the characters. No is overdoing it. You should be resting at home. That's something to fucking do. Sir, why are you so quiet? Speak, speak up! Speak up! <laughs> I think it's the dude wearing a mask, so... Oh, he does. Speak up! ...is working hard to create an antivirus. Even if they do find a cure, the meteorites are still going to be a problem for us. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a good point. You know, like, even if we cure the disease, we're still being pelted by meteorites. <laughs> right. That's still a bit of an issue, I suppose. Hey, man. Don't look so sad. You're about to go on an adventure, right? Now that I think about it, 16 boys and girls going on a space trip together. 16 boys and girls alone in space. What will happen? <laughs> A lot of it? fucking. Yep. What are you guys talking about? But what, what do you guys mean? I am a virgin. Thank you very much. <laughs> what do you mean? I heard there's some hot. I, I'm 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 gonna go into space with this picture of Jesus and this picture of my mom, and I'm gonna hang them both above my bed to keep me on the straight and narrow. <laughs> Abstinence for so me. I don't know if I can stand it. Give me the amount. Of Let's see, I'm about to get. You have to go. I'm begging you. Huh? <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. You're our pride. You know that? Panic, stop trying to, sedu to seduce a married man in chat over there, okay? <laughs> I, see, I see what you're doing. I see what you're up to. Freshly married. Fresh off the merry boat. Yeah, you have to do it. For us. We're leaving everything to you. Just shut up. No, you know. Stop. Remember all the fun times we had together. Remember all the fun times you had with uh, Tim, Gerald, and Lawrence? Or what? I already forgot their names. <laughs> I already fucked it up. <laughs> Pete. Yeah. <laughs> Roger. Oops. And, and Dudley. <laughs> and who can forget Fitzsimmons? Fitzsimmons. The pan pants. Oh, that memory. The pan pan. <laughs> well, why did you say pan pan? Oh, uh, why did I have to remember my friends now of all times? Uh, um... This is Monokuma's doing. He made us all remember this. Is Kibo even our friends? <laughs> yeah, Kibo's memory was just blank. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. Nothing happened that time. Oh, I didn't see anything. But why? Why make us remember that? That memory is no cause for despair. That's right! There's no way we could give up! I promise I'd do my best for them! So there's no way I could give up! Okay. So we're looking for the other part of Rantor- We're looking for the other part of Rantor Survivor Perk, right? Leave it to me! Yeah, I'll check every nook and cranny in this room with my magic, of course. It's gonna take a while. We're gonna have to go through all of our other friends, aren't we? Yep, probably. Someone tells me that. Oh, and I think we're like halfway through this clock. Yeah. Breathing hard, Himiko ran off. What does all this mean? Was it well, what are lies? What is the truth? What is the truth in the lie? You have no Himiko bond. <laughs> Well, so here's 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 another question that I'm gonna propose. Okay. Because we're already two hours into this. If we feel like we're halfway through this investigation, do we just do the other half next week, and then you know we obviously take the break for Thanksgiving, and then we do oh, the, the trial. Oh, that's actually not a bad that, idea. Does that make sense to people? Yeah, I, uh, I'm kind of okay with that. I mean that that might be the way to do this. That might be do we. Do we? How about okay. you, Chad? How do you guys feel about that? Would you be okay with us calling it here and then picking up Panics the rest is. of this investigation next week? Panic says, sounds good, man. I think that's a plan. Yeah, that works. Right. I mean, it, I, I'm, I'm going I'm to be straight and honest with you guys. We also just got out of doing a whole trial and... 
I don't yeah, know yeah. Another long you know, we're we're old men now. Jenny I'm Rouge. turning thirty this month, so I don't have the stamina that I used to have. Um, <laughs> Brian's trying to be nice here, but what he's trying to say is that I'm old and dying. So, uh, you know, I I mean, really, it's past my bed. I got to be in bed by like nine at the latest. It's already nine forty-five. Uh, but y'all, thank you so much for joining us on yet another Danganronpa. We're 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 in, we're in the heat of it. Heat it's, of it's it going all. down. Only a few more of these left to go. So, um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Lord. Um, tomorrow, tomorrow. Speaking of birthdays, is uh, Octar's birthday, and he has said no. He has straight up ghosted us today. So I don't yes. know what his plans are. Uh, he might not be around for a stream. We might figure something out. I don't know. Yeah. But again, if you follow us on social media, you'll know what we're going to stream. Yes. Uh, other than that, yeah, go on, go all over on the YouTube, man. We got Insound Mind vids. We've got Bloodborne vids. We've got Fyro. We've got all a bunch of our old shit. It's all on there, man. We've got these VODs, so you can watch it again, relive the moments. Oh, my God. Tell that beauty happy birthday for me. I sure will. I sure will. If I hear Ooh, from him, whoa. he might be gone forever. I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna be a two people channel now. It's just me, and Mike. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's, I don't know. That's all I got. Anything else, Brian? No, that's it. I love you guys. And hey, keep helping us uh, with followers and stuff. We just hit 420 again on our YouTube. Keep helping us. We love it because, listen, I'm going to make a sexy hot strip video. If you want to see this man kind of naked and very hot, well, then you just gotta do is just hit a button. It says subscribe. It's easy. It's fucking free porn for just hitting a button. <laughs> free porn. All you have to do is hit button and you get free porn. It's easy. Like, I don't know how else to sell that. Free porn for just hitting a button. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm sold. Uh, okay. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, uh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'm just. I'm gonna.